because I have written these books and because of my success with Live Aid and Sport Aid, especially seen in Europe, which was very big, um, I was I was sort of known there, uh, which is unusual in my end of the business. They were aware of it, and um, the Vatican was. A lot of priests and cardinals knew who I was. So I was then running a company called Global Media, uh, which was doing international shows. And I th thought up this recitation of the Pope, which is the normal rosary, where he'd say the first half of the prayer in one language, and the response would be in the language he was speaking. And if it was French, he, he did the first part of the prayer, prayer in Fran French, and then I cut the Paris or Senegal, where they spoke French. So if he spoke in Portuguese, I cut the Lisbon or Rio. The Vatican. The Vatican didn't want anything. I came to them with the idea, and uh, they said, nah, they'll never do it. The, the Pope doesn't do programs. No, you can't. And I said, yes, I can. <laughs> and I did it. And I got him, and he said, yeah. And uh, he is a communications pope. He understood the power of it. Uh, there was reference. Uh, Strangely enough, I ended up in some room where Marconi did the first. Marconi first set up television there and whatever. I'm no Marconi, by the way. Uh, but it was a very strange feeling uh, and I, that I was there to, to do this. And, uh, and my wife couldn't believe we were in the back steps of the Vatican and she was sitting in Pope Pius XII's old chair. You know, I mean, it was like wild. I mean, but. Anyway, the Pope understood the power of this globally, and I, I cued people around the world to ring bells, or wave handkerchiefs, pray, uh, put them all, all live. Uh, it was a $2 million hour um, without commercials. It was, it was underwritten, and um, it came out in a video later. It was seen by a billion people. Uh, millions participated in it, praying for peace. Um, the uh, I was in the Vatican setting it up. I was uh, the insurance company called and they said, "Well, your two million dollar policy, a million's on you and a million's on the Pope. You know, can you take your physical tomorrow?" I said, "Yeah. How about the Pope?" I said, "The Pope's not taking a physical." So um, I did the walkthrough as the Pope and whatever, and then I. The suits showed up from Rye, the Italian network, and they said, yeah, you're not going to, you know, Vittorio De Sica here, you know, this is our territory, so to speak, in Italian speaking to me. And we do the piece to show and whatever, you know, when you're not around, we do it all. You know, where are you? That kind of stuff in Italian. So I said, okay. And I went to London, and I called the camera shots from London. Ferma uno uno, ferma due due, più vicino papa. And the cameras moved. <laughs> 